hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video and ios 17.1 beta 2 is out and the size for now is 6.21 gb as you can see so there are few changes in this update i'm going to share all of those but before that i'm going to tell you how you can update to the ios 17.1 beta 2 so it is very easy to update what you need to do is you just need to go to the settings as you can see go to the general and go to the software update by going it in default way it will not show any update what you need to do is go to your beta updates over here and select ios 17 developer beta as you can see after selecting it go back and you will see the new update as you can see here going back let me show you again software update and here is the new update as you can see for now i'm not going to update this because i i'm not surprised by the features or not impressed by the features i'm looking much better features maybe i'm going to do on the 17.2 beta but for now i'm not updating to the 17.1 beta but what is new with this update so there are a few new settings in the standby mode by default the standby mode is look like this there are no settings over here but now there are a couple of settings let me show you those settings here are the settings now it gives you option to automatically turn off the standby mode or after 20 seconds or you can also select it to never for example if you are using your phone and you don't want to uh, that standby go away ever so you can choose the never option or you can also select any option that you can think you want to choose or it's totally up to your preference now i also talk about how the ios 17.1 beta wanted to move the new ringtones so dead ringtones are back once again so going into sound and haptics the new ringtones are back once again with the 17.1 beta 2 now these ringtones were removed in the beta 1 because beta 1 was compiled before the ios 17 public update that was the main reason but now with the beta 2 ringtones are back now let me show you one another new uh, change in the 17.1 beta 2 so this is the reachability mode as you can see the background is a blur wallpaper but with the 17.1 beta 2 now the background is black as you can see fine this is a new update now what do you think about do you like the blur wallpaper background or actual black let me know in the comment section below although i don't use reachability mode at all i am okay with the screen size of my iphone now there is another new feature which is photo shuffle now finally with the photo shuffle on the lock screen you can also select any album of your choice so that's also a nice uh, change so these were the new changes in the 17.1 uh beta 2 which is really good and I, I don't think you need to update for now um let me see if any other changes are coming with the beta 3 or beta 4 i will let you know guys uh one thing a uh, new journal app is not available still i am i'm waiting for the journaling app and i don't know when it will become out it will be coming with a 17.2 17.3 or maybe we're going to see 17.1 beta 3 not sure about that because apple is just saying this is coming later this year but not sure when it is coming but yes i am waiting for the journal app i'm very excited about that app so i want to see that app as soon as possible but let's see when this app will be coming and there are also other news about the iPhone 15 Pro heat up issues and Apple yes they said there are heat up issues but that are because of the software so maybe we are going to see 17.0.3 very soon to cover that to fix that issues with the iPhone 15 Pro heat up so let's see what is going with that too well this was all from this video if you like this video let me know in the comment section below what do you think about the ios 17 how your ios 17 is going through are you using ios 16 still or are you on ios 17 and which version of ios are you using let me know these all things in the comment section below and i will see you in my next video until that take care peace out